Well, I'm back. We're going to do a full length mat attack this time rather than a, uh, a short one like I was planning on doing next time I did one. Um, I'm going to start with my first hug of the day, which is um, me congratulating um, Chelsea on the winning Premier League title, uh, commiserating Hull City on not staying in the Premier League, uh, begrudgingly congratulating South End on making it to League One to play Colchester United next season. Um, but something needs addressing. <laughs> My fucking football team. As you can imagine from my outburst before the credits, I am not impressed with my football team's performance in the last couple of games. A send off to Gerard should have been fantastic, should have been a tribute to the legend that he is. Instead, what we gave him was a 2-1 defeat. I'm not ignoring doing that final goal they got. The penalty was outside the box. We lost regardless, but... Okay, okay, you're gonna bitch about me. We lost 3-1 to Palace. Okay, happy now? And then there was this afternoon when we had our last game of the season where if we beat Tottenham as well, we'd be guaranteed a group stage spot in Europa League. We'd rather a Champions League, yes, but... Europe League will suffice. And then my phone kept buzzing once, twice, three times, four times, five times before half time. I've had to field counts phone calls today from my mates and from my family teasing me about my team's implosion. Yeah, because I needed you guys to remind me how crap we played this season. I would have rather lost 6 0 than 6 1. It was ridiculous. I've never been so embarrassed. I've even not watched any highlights because of how badly we played. I've never been more embarrassed about it. And I'm going to talk no more about Liverpool this season, which is now over. So I'll bring back football talk when the football season gets closer again. Now, Formula 1 is back with a bang. Well, certainly is as far as I'm concerned. Um, with the news that they decided to bring refuelling back in 2017. Or not, depending on which news outlet you read. Although it was brought, it's meant to be back in the rules starting from 2017. Apparently all 10 teams are against it. Refuelling is something that is now missing from Formula 1. I get it because of cost reasons and safety reasons, but it was more exciting with refueling. The FA can't pretend it isn't. But, you know. Aside from that, Monaco Grand Prix today, I personally thoroughly enjoyed it. I mean, yes, there were a few moments of it which were quiet, not as quiet as Spanish Grand Prix, but it was interesting to see Mercedes can get it wrong. The virtual safety car being deployed, um, which for those you don't know what it is, is when they have an average lap time, they must not ex um, be faster than for safety reasons. And then they put the real safety car out. The, the difference there being that the safety car manages the pace rather than an average lap time. So because of that, the Mercedes was much closer to the safety car and therefore was slower than Vettel and Rosberg. As someone who doesn't like Lewis Hamilton very much, in fact I think I cheered louder than anybody in that grandstand when he actually finished third and looked like a cat that had sour milk. It was fantastic. But that's because I'm not Lewis Hamilton personally. Uh, shout out Jensen Button, well done today on getting your first points of the season. You've had a horrendous season so far. Let's hope it's the best result so far for you. Let's hope it's the way you kick, kick, kick on from now. And good luck to you. Also, Mana, my team for the year. Again, two cars finishing. Well done, boys. Just keep going. You're doing the fan proud. 
Eurovision, something I mentioned a few uh, episodes ago. It's back on my agenda because of what happened last night. It was the show in Austria. And as far as I could tell, they got nil point. I don't think that's happened before, although I'm sure someone will correct me otherwise. Um, Britain got five points, which is more than I thought we'd get. Thanks Australia, thank you Ireland, saying nothing, but I get one point, which is something I suppose. I'm pretty sure we deserve more than that, but it is all political, obviously. But um, I, I accepted that years ago. But as shown that when you do have a decent song, like we had a few years ago, when Andrew Lloyd Webber wrote the song, we finished fifth, so. Or is it sixth? Whatever, two. We certainly had a good showing that year anyway, and it wasn't then the political back bias. Just wish that it would continue that way. I can't see it happening, but what do I know? Anyway, that's the end of my Matt Attack for this week. Um, join me again soon for another one. Remember to tweet me, Facebook me, just shout at me in the street if you want to. Tell me what you want me to tweet, talk about. I'm Matt. I'm out of here.